So, getting ready, do, getting ready to do some, getting ready to do some beef ribs. As you can see here, my beef ribs have been soaking in the marinade, marinade for about 15, 16 hours. We're gonna remove them, pat them dry, and get ready to put our seasoning on. So what I did is I took the marinade. We're gonna put this in the pot and make a glaze. Now what we're gonna do, slide that down, is we're gonna pat them dry with some paper towel. But if you look here, I have two different style of ribs. We got the rib ends, and we got the typical ribs. But when you go to the grocery store, it's hard to find them where they don't cut most of the meat out. You know what I mean? Because this sits on the bottom of a, the ribeye. Ribeye is much more expensive, so they get more per pound. So they they'll skimp those ribs out, which makes it hard to find some good ribs. But I did manage to find some with a little bit of meat on on them. We're going to try them out today, see how they go. So we're just going to pat them dry with some paper towels. Try to get most of that moisture off of there, that marinade. We do not want to rinse them after we marinate our ribs. You know what I mean? My marinade, what I did is I took and I put a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, my seasonings, some water. That's it. You could you add apple juice. There's so many things you could do. There's so many recipes for for marinades. Now we do want, if you haven't already, you do want to remove. Let's see if I can get it. You can see it. You want to remove this membrane on the back of your ribs. You don't want to leave that. That's not going to get tender. It's going to stay hard. You know, we want to remove that before we go to seasoning. Now, sometimes it'll look real thick like that, you know, but you still want to remove it. Because the more attention to detail you put into these ribs, the better it's going to be. That's a big old fat cap there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. But that's what we want to do before we, before we season our ribs up. We want to get all this skin off. Because the skin, all it's going to do is block the seasoning from penetrating your meat. So we don't want that. We want to get all our flavors in there. So next we need some type of oil or a binder to help our seasoning stick. I'll take just some old vegetable oil. Spray. And just spray my ribs off. You know what I mean? Quick little spray. Don't take a lot. Just want to give our season something to stick to. Now I'm going with the brisket rub and a rib rub. This has got to cook for four or five hours. Rib rubs tend to have a lot of sugar in it. With beef you don't want a lot of sugar. That's why I'm going half rib rub, half brisket rub. Alright so now we're going to put a liberal amount of seasons on our ribs front and back. Same thing with the brisket rub. Nice heavy coating. Pat it down. Flip it over. Pat it down. Now I gotta remember these are beef ribs. They're closer to a steak than your typical pork rib. We're gonna do that for all of our ribs. So basically what we wanna do, we got us a little pan, some aluminum foil, we're gonna put some charcoal on it. We're gonna light this up. And then we're going to throw some wood on there and we're going to stick it inside the grill just to give it that smoke flavor from the charcoal, from the wood, in order to get that authentic flavor into our ribs. Let's see if I can light it here. So we got them lit. Now we're going to let them go until they get ready. Alright, so we got our meat out here on our grill. We got our smoke going, we got our charcoal, we got our wood. Now what I do is I cut this burner on and the rest of them off, right? So we're going to take our meat and we're going to sit it over here on this side. Away from the direct heat. That's what we 
we're gonna do. Get all those on there. They touch a little bit, it's okay. We just wanna get all of those ribs on there. So we got our smoke, we got our charcoal flavor, we got our ribs on the grill. And it dropped a little bit because I opened it, but we want to run it about between 250 and 275 for about two hours. So what we're going to do, then we're going to start basting and cook it for another two hours until we get good and tender. All right, so it's been an hour. It's about 375, I mean, excuse me, 275, maybe a little bit higher. It's been our first hour on the grill. Been our first hour on the grill. Cold still going. Smoke is about out. So what we do is make another packing. Usually lasts about 30 minutes to an hour. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ribs and we're gonna rotate these ribs and change out our packing. So we had to remove the grate in order to put us another smoke pack in. First pack, let's get light. You can see it. Charcoal's all black in there. The woods all black like charcoal, right? So we got our new pack on. Coal is getting a little, a little almost burnt up, so we're gonna start some more coal and throw on there. But we're gonna set it again for another hour and come back and check it. Keep our keep a watch on our temperature. Get it back up to 275 and let it stay there for another two hours. For another hour. Our grill ready. Got our smoke going. Got some more of these coals in here. You don't want to add too many because you don't want to start affecting your heat. Well, we just want that flavor to keep going. So it's been another hour with our ribs on the grill. Now they suck in all the smoke that they're going to take. Usually about two hours at your smoke time. It's about as much smoke as you're going to get out of them. You know, whatever wood smoking method you're using. So now we're going to take these off, take them in the house. We're going to wrap them. We're going to go up with the heat to about 300 and cook them for another two hours. Now at this point, you can add anything you want to add to them. I'm going to go back with a little bit more rub. Yes, my children have made it off home from school. Both sides, a little bit of rub. Now I'm going to go with the rib rub because it got a little more sugar in it and we're just going to wrap it up. That's it. Wrap them up. Each one of them we want to do like that. So, three and a half, almost four hours later, we come to the final stage. All right. Which is the glazing. Now this is an optional step. Some people like dry ribs. And from Mississippi we like our ribs wet. So we're going to take these beef ribs, which are extremely tender. Take our ribs. Put them on that meat side up. We lost a few bones along the way. But that's just the process of good cooking. So now what do we have here in this golden goodness? This is the marinade sauce that we put on our ribs. We took it, we boiled it. We boiled it, added some brown sugar, some of those rib seasonings to it, a little vinegar, a little ketchup. Now we're just gonna brush all our meat with this marinara sauce, marinade, which we turned into a barbecue. I'm talking about. We put some old chicken hot links up there. Chicken and beef. We'll go ahead and glaze them with a little bit of sauce now. Let it cook on there. I'm talking about. And there it is, our beef ribs on the grill. Hot links over there. Getting them nice and glazed up now. They've been cooking for about four hours. Enjoy yourself. Nice little brownness on it. Yeah.